Hey everyone, today, new spring farmhouse decor DIYs, and I use mostly Dollar Tree items for these. And by the way, if you're new here, I'm Tanya. Welcome to my channel, and I do hope that you all like, share, and subscribe. Let's go ahead and get started with the first one. Now, I'm going to take two of these signs that I had picked up at Dollar Tree, and I'm just going to peel all the paper off. We'll skip over that so you don't have to watch all of that. Once I get them clean, I'm going to take and just shape out a wing of a butterfly. And these were the perfect signs for this because I really liked how they had the curves in them. And what I'm going to do with this is take one of these round small wreath rims and we're going to attach the butterfly wings to it and I just come up with this idea kind of on a whim and I wanted to be able to put a cluster of flowers and make this little door greeter and it turned out so beautiful everyone so I really hope that you enjoy this one now I did have to trim these up a little bit with my scissors but these signs everyone are perfect to do DIYs like this because they're very easy to cut and all you have to do is score them a little bit and just break them apart and then just trim off a little bit of that extra like you've seen me do. So keep that in mind for these signs at Dollar Tree. There's so many things you can make like this and you can tell that made a really pretty little butterfly wing for the butterfly that I'm creating and now what I'm going to do is use zip ties to attach this and I like doing that because because it holds them on really well and you don't have the mess of the glue. So anytime you can zip tie onto something, it's always the way that I like to go. And of course I used my drill and just made some holes, but first I'm going to take some of my scrapbooking paper that I had in my craft stash and I just wanted to add a little bit of color to these wings instead of painting them. And I really like how this turned out. And when you see what I'm gonna do with the butterfly, it really turns out pretty. But first we're gonna go ahead and get these cut out. And you can see I had to make sure that I turned these the opposite direction when I was drawing them out. And that way they'll fit on the paper the correct way and placement of the wings will be correct. But once I get these cut out and glue them on with a glue stick, and really glad I picked up that glue stick. <laughs> I had been missing out on that for a couple of videos, but we're just gonna get those pressed on, and then I'm going to be pulling out my uh, little strip of beads from Dollar Tree, and everyone, if you've not checked that out in the Crafter Square section, uh, those are my go-to. I really like to have those on hand, and it's just strips of little floral, uh, beads or flowers and they usually have a sticky side to them and they're perfect to detail around items like this now on this one you can see I'm just using just the beads by themselves and I just thought it was such a perfect way to outline the little butterfly wings and I was going to paint over these but I decided not to I was really liking this neutral color and you can see that I had wired my wings onto my wreath rim these are some little floral clusters that I had on a previous DIY that I just pulled off and I decided just to pop those in there. And everyone, look how beautiful. This has given me so many ideas to do different things by adding the wings or even you could do the little a bumblebee this way and put the florals in the middle there. So I hope this one gives you lots of inspiration because I really enjoyed this when I got it done. Now I just took some wired rope twine and made the little feelers for the butterfly. And then I put a dot of hot glue on top there and just painted it brown. Now this is an old window that I had picked up at Dollar General years ago and I just took some sheets of the uh, cutting board um, I, I guess it's like a plastic you can get at Dollar Tree and I put it inside of those little window panels and it made it so neat to look like a little window and then I had this home sign that I decided just to mix all kinds of colors I put brown and some green I think it was alfalfa green and then I just brushed on some of the white paint really trying to give it that kind of rustic farmhouse look and that pretty much 
finished this one up, I ended up just attaching this once again with the zip tie. And I ended up just uh, making the holes right into the picture frame. And that way, if I wanted to change it out and maybe put like a pumpkin there for the fall season or maybe a little snowman head for this. But everyone, this would be really easy to make with just four picture frames from Dollar Tree also in some of those little plastic cutting mats. But everyone, there it is. I think it turned out beautiful and I think it makes the perfect little door greeter. Don't forget to let me know what you think of this one in the comments below. Now for our next DIY, we're going to be taking another one of these little wood signs. I think I might have picked that one up last year. And this is just going to be a small little wall art piece. And I decided to turn it vertical and then just glue on my little flowering pot there at the bottom and we're going to fill this with a beautiful little bird's nest now those are some of those little stickers that i just cut up and i wanted to have them look like the molds and just have them kind of give that little raised up kind of vintage look on there and have a little farmhouse vibe to it also. But everyone, this turned out so pretty and that is like a really neat little secret. If you don't have a lot of the different molds where you can do all of the little accents on there, definitely buy those stickers and glue them on because once you paint them, it turns out beautiful. Now I had some of that patina old and gray from the DIY paint and I just painted my little um, pot that color and then I rub some rub and buff on there just really trying to age that up and make it look old and then I took a little bit of that rub and buff and rubbed all over my little mold embellishments there and I really like how that turned out I think it made a really nice small little a decor piece for the spring season. Now this is another thing that I had took off one of my older DIYs, little bird nest and greenery and some berries. I got the little bird at Michael's and the bird nest I actually made. And just some berries and greenery from my craft stash, a little more moss, and then I decided to build something on top. And I end up getting the greenery on there, and then I remembered I had this mushroom from Dollar Tree. So I pulled out that little mushroom, and I end up setting it right on top there and I thought this just added something fun just trying to pull in like all the little elements for spring and then I dug in my buttons and I found this tiny tiny little frog and I thought what the heck we're gonna put that little frog right under that mushroom and for this to be so small it made a really cute and simple an adorable little spring decor piece that you could just set in a little nook in your home just to add that little touch of spring. And here it is hanging up. And everyone, I thought this looked so adorable. And you can see how nice the little accents look. But everyone, I hope you're still with me. I've got something coming up here for you in a moment. And you'll have to let me know what you think of that. Well, hey everyone, I wanted to pop in here a moment. I have another review for you. And actually, this is a jacket. But I knew I would need another one of these for the cold weather that will be coming back before we know it. But we are still getting some cool weather here in the mountains. Now, I cannot pronounce this, but this is the brand. And there will be a link in my description box for you. And I just really wanted to try this out. And this is a really nice jacket. And I was really happy when I got it. It's got the snap buttons down the front here. And it feels like it's gonna be warm, but it doesn't feel heavy. And I don't know about you, but I will buy a lot of my off-season clothes, especially this time of year anyway, because you get such a good deal. But this one doesn't have a hood, and like I said, it does come with some extra little buttons like most of the clothes do in here. But you can just see the uh, material. And I like that it has these nice pockets, it's got a little drawstring, and we're gonna put it on and just see how it fits, and then I'll stand back so you can see. 
Now I do get a 2X in mine, mostly because I'm just bigger right through here, and I just like the way that that fits. But, oh, everyone, this is great. Such a nice little coat, and even if it gets really cold here in the mountains, like it usually does, our wind is just terrible here. And I like how it buttons up. I like how it has the little drawstring here to add a little gather. Let me go ahead and raise the camera up and turn it down just a little bit so you can see. Oh, everyone, this is adorable. I love it. But anyway, they offered to send it and they wanted to get their clothing brand out there. And so I just thought that I would try it out. I love how the snaps sound like they're on there really well too. But I thought this would be just a really nice, really nice jacket. And uh, I think the fit's really good too. And very comfortable. I know a lot of these coats that are kind of pleated like this, they're uh, really bulky, but this one feels really good. And let me try out the zipper. And of course it has the little double zipper down there at the bottom, so that's good. Now, I'm bad to use my snaps and not my zipper, but we're gonna make sure this zips up nice. And it zips up great. So, yes, overall, everyone, I love this. I will definitely be pulling this out in the cold weather. And actually, I am doing this review on a Tuesday, I think, and they're actually calling for snow here in the mountains tomorrow. So I make it to wear this jacket out tomorrow if I'm out and about. But I thought this company was definitely worth checking out and uh, doing the review on. And I think it's a great jacket. And I will leave that link in the description box for you so you can check it out if you would like to uh, purchase one. And they did have them in several different colors. And so that was a good thing. So definitely go take a peek at this one. I think it's worth it. And once again, here is that name. So I hope you take a look at that one. Well, everyone, let's jump back into the video. Now for our last DIY, I'm gonna be using some of these chalkboards you can find in the office section area of Dollar Tree. And everyone, this is a really neat one. This is such a great little tip to make a really cute farmhouse ladder that you only have to pop a little bit of paint on this and it already looks weathered and aged. But you can see there, I was cutting two of the boards long ways and then I'm gonna cut some shorter boards off the other one. And I guess I'll just save the rest of it for another DIY but everyone this could not have been simpler and you can use this as a little shelf leaner or you can take this one and hang it up on the wall or your door Now I decided just to use some hot glue to glue these together and it holds really well because these are such thin little pieces of wood. But this is the first time that I picked up those little chalkboards to try this and I'm glad I did. It was just a really neat way to kind of get that farmhouse look very quick and very simple. Now here's one of the little... Uh, I think this was like a whiteboard type on the other side and I just used the back side of this little house and we're going to be turning that into a little birdhouse to put up on top. But everyone, watch this. I just very quickly brushed some of that white paint on there and it was kind of a dry brushing technique, but I didn't have to sand this or anything. It was just the way it happened to flow on top of the chalkboard made this turn out like it was just old and weathered. Now I'm gonna be taking some of that alfalfa paint and I just decided to pull in a little bit of the green. That's one of the colors that I'm gonna be pulling into some of my decor this year. And I just did like one good thick coat right on there. And I wanted to make some kind of little roof area for my birdhouse. So I ended up just cutting some of the craft sticks that I had picked up at Walmart. And I just popped those on there. And then I just took some more of that 
um, I believe it was the black wax that I put on here. Yeah. And just kind of age those a little bit just to give them a little bit of contrast from the brown and the green. And I just painted one of the little bird holes in there again. And we're going to be attaching this onto the top part of our little ladder. And I thought I'd kind of lean it over to the side a little bit. And then I had one of these little tags that I had started working with. And I just cut out some little flowers that I had printed. And I think I had some of this paper in my craft stash that had the writing on there. And the reason why I picked that one flower is because I was going to be pulling that red in on some little mushrooms that I was gonna add to this one. But everyone, I thought this made the sweetest little farmhouse piece of decor. Now I'm gonna be taking just some moss and I like to use the moss that I get at Michael's and it comes in a big bag and it doesn't smell as bad if you have any kind of allergies because sometimes that reindeer moss kind of bothers me a little. So if you it does bother you, you can always use this moss that you can pick up at Michael's. I think they have it at Hobby Lobby too. And I just grabbed some of those little pink mushrooms that I picked up a couple of weeks back. And then I just took some of my old burlap. It was the white roll that I had got at Dollar Tree and added little sprigs of greenery here and there. And you saw me pull in just a few little sprigs of that burlap string. And that was just to make it look kind of like a bird's nest. And then I decided to take, I think that was brick red that I put on there. And I just wanted to bring in that color of the flower. And then just added some more little white dots back on top of the mushroom. And I don't know, let's see what else I add on here. I can't remember what I added. Just a little bit more greenery. I just kind of had the greenery coming up around the birdhouse. And then I think we start putting some going down like it was creeping down the ladder. But everyone, like I said, these were just really simple little DIYs that you can pop in a little nook just to have that little hint of spring. And I think these would also look wonderful as porch decor also. Just that little something that you can add for that little farmhouse spring look. But everyone, that is pretty much it for today's DIYs. Don't forget to check out that link in the description to that jacket. I really love it. And they do have several different colors. And you can see how I have this one hanging up on the wall. And I think it turned out beautiful. If you have a favorite, everyone, let me know. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you, everyone. I will see you soon.